Okay, time now for the Executive Edge. Meal Kit Service Blue Apron expected to price after the bell today, but the appetite for the IPO might be on the light side. Leslie Picker has that story. Leslie. That's right, Andrew. Less than 500 calories. That's, that's how light it is. <laughs> uh, you know, Blue Apron is, that deal is certainly a tough one. Customer acquisition costs are high. Financials include widening net losses, and it faces competitors big and small. And even in this market, which is technically the perfect recipe for IPOs with high stock prices and low volatility, it has been a tough sell. I've spoken with sources familiar with investor demand, and it's clearly one of the more challenging consumer deals we've seen in a while. Investors are skeptical of the business model and the timing of the deal. They're asking whether Blue Apron is trying to go out now before things get worse, assuming Amazon eventually closes its deal with Whole Foods. That could be a big competitor to Blue Apron, which bills itself as an expert in delivering fresh, healthy ingredients to your home. And even if investors don't like the direction Blue Apron is going, they won't have much say. Their voting power is very limited due to multiple classes of shares. So Blue Apron may not be able to get people to pay at the high end of the range it's been marketing, where its valuation is worth more than $3 billion. The underwriters need to price the deal, though, so that it rises. And there should be ample retail demand, mom and pops that get into this thing. But the question is always how much, guys? We, we've talked about it several times, Sarah. There's so many other competitors out there. But do they have the largest market share related to Plated and Martha Stewart's efforts and everything else? They definitely have the most in terms of fundraising. They didn't specify market share mm. specifically, um, but they've raised the most money. Money. They've been valued at the highest in terms of this kind of delivering fresh ingredients to your home, that super niche market. Uh, but of course, each of the their competitors have their own type of customer that they appeal to, whether it's the vegetarians, mm -hmm. whether it's the people who, you know, want a certain chef to make their recipe right, right. for their food. So uh, it's it's just a tough sell, I think, to, to investors these days. Yeah, who's got the I'm one with the, by the ones they send home? Who's got the one like with the thirty bucks off if you want to come in? The, and I'm still not interested. Yeah, you know I mean that says something though, who's right? Who's the one who's got the Tom Brady diet? Is it Blue Apron that's doing no, that now? I don't, I don't think, think so. Or is it another I one? I think it's a different one. But put but to the point I made earlier, they're so. Many. Many of them. Right. Yes. Right. Exactly. And the lack of flexibility too. I mean, I did it for a while. I liked I liked the product, but you had to cancel so far in advance that you I'm getting leave meals. town and unexpectedly, and right. you know, there's the box showing up at the front door. And hey, Leslie, we got a little bit of news. Oh yeah. Yeah. While you were speaking just now, uh -huh. Blue Apron has lowered the range of time. You're new. You're 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 onto something here. Yep. Uh, they've lowered the range of the IPO to 10 to $11 per share. That's down from 15 to 17. So that's a big deal because technically you can price 20% below the low end of the range without refiling. So they felt that demand was weak enough that they actually had to refile with a lower price range. This is something I really do not and it's see a, much. And it's a, a much lower price range. Right. 10 much. to 11 compared to 15 to 17 on how many shares? That's a boatload of money that they're, they're passing over that they thought they would could maybe raise. And part of this could be, so sources I spoke with yesterday said that uh, they were seeing a lot of hedge fund demand, but not much in the way of mutual funds. And if you're an IPO, you really want that mutual right. long only people who will stick around for a while. So it could be that they were lowering that range to get higher quality investors. That's the term that the syndicate right. uses, higher quality. Um, but it'll be interesting to see where they go from okay. here. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.